Hey guys, this is Brian Rodriguez with the Lana Rodriguez Group. What an amazing morning we had. We got to meet the mayor and we talked about the state of the city. And who's going to bring it to you? The Lana Rodriguez Group. Take a look. Thanks so much for the invitation to join you this morning. What I'd like to do is give you a, lot, a little short state of the city uh, address and then um, take any questions you might have. Folks, when I ran for mayor three, uh, four, almost four years ago now, I outlined three major challenges facing our city. Challenges that we needed to address to get Colorado Springs moving again. <coughs> First, we needed to uh, create a more collaborative political environment in Colorado Springs. Some of you may remember that when we went to a strong mayor form of government in 2011, the first four years were pretty rough. Uh, city council really hadn't adjusted to a strong mayor form of government. My predecessor didn't uh, really love the city, did not have a great deal of political experience. And uh, the contention between the council and the mayor was uh, causing us not to make much progress in addressing some of the major issues that the city was facing. Uh, it was really a pretty dysfunctional relationship. And some of the issues we needed to face were, number one, we needed to secure public support for investment in critical public infrastructure. Our roads were bad, uh, and our stormwater system was so deficient uh, that the city was subject to litigation by the EPA, the state of Colorado, and downstream communities, including Pueblo. Uh, so that, uh, we had those two major infrastructure problems. Sixty percent of our roads on objective scale uh, were in bad condition. They were past the 10 to 12 year lifespan uh, of roads. Uh, and we really needed to address that. And finally, uh, we needed to promote new job creation. Uh, job creation and wage growth had been stagnant for uh, the previous decade. So that's what we've been working on over the last four years, and I hope you feel as I do that we've made a big difference. Over the past uh, four years, I've worked with city council and our citizens uh, to address these challenges. And frankly, we've secured an unprecedented level of uh, public and private investment in our city. Thanks to Colorado Springs voters, we've paved over 700 miles of major arterials and are well on our way to developing the best stormwater program in the state of Colorado. And the Southern Delivery System is up and running uh, and in a position to uh, provide for our growth as a community up to a million population. Uh, we eliminated the business personal property tax, which I thought didn't uh, really bring in a lot of revenue, and it was one of the barriers to attracting companies here, and getting companies here to, uh, uh, to grow. Uh, since I took office, folks, in uh, about three and a half years, we've created 28,000 uh, new jobs. And they're good jobs. The median wage for a posted job opening in Colorado Springs today is just under $81,000. Uh, that's 25% uh, higher uh, than four years ago. Two weeks ago, uh, actually about a month ago now, Colorado Springs was named by Wallet Hub as the top city in the country for employment growth. And that was just backed up this week. Uh, by the Department of Labor. We have the fastest employment growth in the country right here in Colorado Springs. Uh, and frankly, the future looks very bright. Folks, we live in a great community. Um, I don't think there's a better place in the United States uh, to live. As citizens of Colorado Springs, we all stand on the shoulders of William J. Palmer, the founder of this town, and the folks that uh, have gone before us and have shown tremendous foresight. Uh, and in two and a half short years, July 31st, 2021, Colorado will, uh, Springs will celebrate its sesquicentennial. For those non-Latin scholars, that means its 150th birthday. Um, and I'm telling you, we're gonna party like it's 1871. <laughs> Go LRG.